Hey yo, what's up everybody? How are you doing? Welcome to the Nigerian on my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well. For you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Bayo Adio and I'm a second generation Nigerian American that's rediscovering Nigeria as an adult. So on my channel, I talk about lifestyle, food, culture, and then a lot of business stuff. So in business, I talk predominantly about real estate and agriculture. So if you love that and that's your jam, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other videos that I've done. All right, so today I am here to do two things. I'm here to share some exciting news for you guys. It's so exciting. And then number two, I am here to share the five to six different ways that you can earn money from your plantain plantation farm. So this video is maybe good for investors that want to invest in plantain or in our own plantation farm or for people that want to start their own plantain business. Um, in Nigeria, the potential for agriculture is so huge. So this video for me and why I'm sharing all this information for free, this high value information is to encourage other people to also join me in this agricultural space in Nigeria. The room for opportunities is so huge. So that's why I'm doing this video. All right, guys. So buckle up and let's talk about the five ways to generate income from your plantain plantation farm. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're, um, let's dive into the five different ways. So number one way to make money on your plantain farm is by selling the plantain fruits. So this is like the most obvious one that most people would initially think about, but you guys would want to listen to the other ways that you can earn income on the plantain. But let's start with the plantain fruits. So the plantain fruits, typically there's multiple people you can sell these to. Uh, we have sold to restaurants predominantly, family and friends, and then um, big markets. We are looking into tapping into like also local supermarkets, but we haven't done that yet. But yeah, but those are the different ways that you can kind of sell your plantain fruits. Now, a little bit of education on this, because when we first started selling, I didn't quite understand and it took me some time to learn. So typically on your plantain farm, people buy in dozens. And all of this information is what I never found on YouTube. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, man, it took me so long to learn and understand this, but you guys would have that information. So typically people buy in dozens. And when, when they initially told me dozens, I thought in the individual plantain, like 12 of those per dozen. But no, when people say dozen of plantains, they actually mean that one bunch, 12 of those. So they buy in like 12 bunches, essentially. Um, and the prices is going to range anywhere from like 15,000 Naira all the way to like 40,000 Naira if you're selling locally. The price can even be double that or more if you're, if you're exporting and selling internationally. But plantain is a perishable product that's probably not um, the easiest one to export uh, without adding value to it, which we'll talk about on the other ones, because it can go bad fast. So yeah, so that is definitely number one way to make money on your plantain farm is by selling the plantain fruits. Now, number two, you can sell what we call suckers, and these are the plantlets that grow around the plantain tree. So for every each tree that develops in a plantain farm, it has offshoots of suckers around it. And the way it works, if you guys have watched me harvesting plantain, you actually, and again, this is something I didn't know. I actually thought it's the same tree that continues to produce plantain. <laughs> when I first got into this, it's later that I was like, oh shit, I didn't know you actually harvest the plantain, cut down the tree, and the, what's going to reproduce plantains is the actual offshoots that's going to grow and recreate plantain. So now, if you're on a plantain uh, farm, now you have like thousands of these trees, right? Each tree can produce easily anywhere from like two to five or six suckers, which they call plantain suckers. And you can now sell each individual one of these for the people that want to start their own plantain farm or for you to expand your plantain farm. So maybe you started with two acres, you can now expand to like four or five plus acres of plantain. So you can use it for uh, both of those options. 
by the way if you guys are interested in setting up a planting farm or you want to set up a planting farm this year of your own whether it's one acre two acres three acres let me know we would be happy to supply you with treated planting suckers from our farm now for you guys selling these this used to be cost 100 naira or so now because of inflation and increase in prices of things you can sell suckers for like 300 naira for one and if depending on your quantity you can probably people can probably bargain down a little bit if they're doing a quantity so just know like 200 to 300 naira for one planting suckers now this unlocks a huge revenue from your planting farm so that is a number two way to make a money on planting there are actually some people who they're this is what's beautiful about farming there's like different offshoots and um different industries that's created and different business opportunities and employments that can happen off of like plantain because there's some people that actually their business model is to sell plantain suckers so they buy it they treat it they propagate it and then they sell that's just their own business so yeah so people can create businesses out of your own business isn't that cool <laughs> so yeah so that is that so planting suckers if you're interested let me know that's another way to earn revenue from your planting farm that we have done um and if you guys even watch one of my videos you guys will see another guy that came from i think dubai who came to our farm to buy those planting suckers so that's like one way he's starting his own planting farm i actually need to follow up with him see how he's doing but anyways so that's another way to sell uh the plantain suckers now um that is now selling things raw so now one thing that we have started to do is like okay for farming i knew that we were starting at the bottom of the supply chain so i look at farming as like this industry where like the farmers are like kind of like the foundation of the industry because they're the ones planting weeding nurturing these things to get to fruits but that's like the bottom then what happens after that is like a whole nother industry some people are making a lot of income from farming without actually farming um, and that goes to like the next thing that i'm going to talk about here so the third way to make money from your planting farm or that we have money tied plantings on our planting farm which leads to the exciting story that i wanted to share with you guys Ta-da! we started making plantain chips a few weeks ago and this has been amazing it's called Layla chips this is so cool we actually got into our first store a few days ago um, I actually shared that video with you guys but yeah this has been cool uh, we contracted this to a lady uh, that was referred by one of the people who actually invested in our plantain farm and uh, yeah she makes amazing plantain chips so we have the unripe, kind of semi-unripe, and then like the sweet. So yeah, we've been having people taste these and they've been giving great feedback. I've been getting averages of like eight out of 10 or nine, but I'm trying to get it more to be like consistently nine. But we just made like a batch of these. So long story short, plantain chips. You guys see that? So cool. I am so excited about this. So plantain chips is another way to um, make money on your plantain. This came about by mistake, actually, um, but it was something we've been thinking about. But sometimes God works in mysterious ways. God wanted me to take this step quicker than I wanted to. So in my mind, I was like, OK, we will eventually get to like making plantain chips in the nearest future. But we had a situation where we were supposed to make a delivery to a client and our uh, we had a logistics problem, car problem breaking down and we just couldn't get it to that person on time. So a lot of these plantains was gonna, were going to spoil, which is a big problem in, in farming in general. We have a lot of food spoilage because of lack of processing and lack of storage facilities. But that's like a whole other topic. So I was like, you know what? Instead of all of these plantains going to spoil, how about I call this lady and have her just make, turn all of these into plantain chips. So we just made it and we turned it into plantain chips. And all of a sudden, we have started this a lot earlier than I want to. And I am so glad that we did. So in terms of profitability, I have found that if you actually take the time to add value to like a, I don't know if this is called commodity product, so like a, a perishable product, you can increase your profits by like almost minimum 100%, but I would say like two to 300% profit. 
by processing it into something that somebody can consume. Now at the store, they sell this easily for like 3,500 or 3,000 Naira or 2,000 Naira, depending on the grams. So yeah, and this is also, guess what? We're not able to tap into the international market. So this is also export friendly because you can, this can go through uh, uh, flying, like freight, is that what they call it? Yeah, this can go through like air freight that would get to like wherever you want to transfer to, to like a couple of days, rather than going through like a container that would take like a few months. And this one doesn't go bad. It, it has a shelf life of maybe even like six months or so plus for plantain chips. So I think this is wonderful, wonderful way to monetize your thing. So by the way, if you guys are interested in having us supply your plantain chips, or maybe you just want one or two, let me know. We would love to have you try it. So it's called Leila Chips by Ideal Agro Village. That's the exciting news, guys. So that is the number three way to make money from your plantain, is to add value and step up a higher from just being a farmer but from so now you now evolve from being a farmer to like an agribusiness entrepreneur by adding value so yeah so this is cool um again when i talk about businesses another so now we just open up somebody literally we can actually employment is very amazing which is one thing that i feel like we can be better at so this business not only does it create job on our farm the person that's doing the suckers, it creates a job. The people reselling creates a job. Now, the person that's going to be making the plantains and the people that they're going to hire, that creates a new job opportunities for them. And not only that, the people supplying this plastic, printing these labels, packaging, is a whole nother industry in farming that also creates job opportunities. Can you guys see how this multiply? Just one plantain farm can create like four or five different business models that have so many people. So with our 50 acre farm, we might end up employing like 200 plus people indirectly, not directly, but indirectly through all the stuff that we're doing. Isn't that so cool? Agriculture is so cool. All right. So that is the exciting news, guys. So if you guys are interested, the number is underneath the screen. Definitely reach out to us. We've actually had people that have contacted us oh well that we kind of when we put this out that already saying oh they'd like to have some in uk some in and i'm like holy crap so yeah and another exciting news is that we finally have this in our first store this is exciting so the one thing we're kind of testing the market now we have to kind of do a NAFDAQ registration to like fully formalize this process but for now we're testing the markets to see if this would actually be profitable enough if there's a market for people to buy it but so far it seems like this is actually a highly consumable product so plantain chips i talked more about this because i'm so excited about this it was very it's like a a vision and a dream come true so yeah so that is one way to monetize your plantain farm as well so number four to make money off of your plantain farm and again we have evolved into adding value now is doing a plantain flower so we have not produced this yet on our farm we're still experimenting with this but i got this at the store because i want to try it so plantain flower has become very popular in the recent days because a lot of people have diabetes and we eat all these swallows and plantain flower swallow um, has been the one that can help people with diabetes maintain a good healthy lifestyle without increasing their blood sugars um, so yeah, and, and it has so many benefits. It, I was even Googling it. It has like, it's gluten free for people that are gluten sensitive. It's rich in potassium, have iron, magnesium, vitamin A, vitamin B, and it's also low on calories. So I, I anticipate plantain flour. Actually, it hasn't, it's like new to the market. It hasn't fully penetrated the market yet, but I think plantain flour is actually going to become wildly popular like in the next year or so mark my words so yeah you can also decide to get into the market early so we have actually started uh experimenting with this on a lower scale uh, not on a bigger scale yet so essentially what you do is you take on ripe plantains and you dry it some people have like a some people use like a what do they even call it i can't remember it's like a some sort of flash dryer what do they call it ah, i can't remember but there's a way to dry these things fast, but we use the sun. <laughs> we use the good natural sun to dry this. And then essentially when you dry this, 
um, you can actually sell it off like this to people um, on the market for a higher price than you sell plantain because you already kind of added value by drying this but you can also now mill this and grind this and turn it into like plantain elubo elubo or gede elubo so that is another way and again that would unlock another new business model for you in your plantain but guess what that also opens up another avenue for people that mix a rubo they also can now sell it so somebody can actually come into the agricultural space without farming without drying their whole purpose can just be i sell a rubo and so for people looking for a job they can just they can start an rubo business without doing anything maybe you work with someone like me we do all the farming, we do all the legwork, we package, we do everything for you. And your job is just to wake up and go sell a little <laughs> So job creation. Um, I'm very, very passionate about job creation. So that's why I'm talking about all of this. So yeah, planting flower. And by the way, full disclosure, I have never had a planting flower before. So that's why I went to the store to buy this. Before we even go crazy about this, I want to make it. I want to see how it tastes. By the way, if you guys have ever had planting flower before, comment underneath this video what's your experience with it does it taste good would it substitute the other types of uh, swallow i'm um, just let me know your general opinion have you had it before let me know and what are your thoughts on planting fire if you have had it all right so that is number four now number five way to make money on your plantation on your planting farm is actually not actually off of selling goods now so now if you have went through a few years of doing this with a lot of trial error and you've had a level of success, you can now offer to help other people set up their own plantain farm and be in consultation for that. And again, it's something we don't think about, but after you have figured out, you can actually help other people. Like for example, uh, some, some people have reached out to us like, hey, Bio, I would like for you to help me set up um, our farm, which we can do. Uh, we can help you manage it maintain it weed it do all of that stuff uh but in terms of setup we can help you with that so if you're interested in like maybe you have one or two acres somewhere and you just want somebody to help you clear the land apply manure set it up plant it for you bring all the suckers do all of that stuff we'll be happy to help you with that so yeah and you can also do consultations as well for people that are getting started uh, because technically an expert is somebody who is ahead of the person that wants to. So as long as you're ahead like me, I feel like I am ahead of a lot of people that want to get started. I can offer them advice on what I have been able to do successfully on my farm. And you can monetize that as well. So guys, that is the top five ways to make money on your plantain farm. Now, the stuff that I'm talking about here in terms of like um, adding value and processing is like just like a few examples that i have individually participated in some people there is different meals that people use to make plantains with i even met a lady that makes plantain bread so there's other ways that people are adding value to these plantains besides the ones that i've just measured so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please like the video this lets me know that this video added value to you Ideally, you subscribe to my channel. It is completely free. Um, and then it just helps me grow my influence on YouTube. It helps get the message out. It helps gives me credibility uh, when I talk to other people um, about my content creating journey. So I would really, really appreciate that you guys do that. And if you want to buy me coffee or tip me, you can also click on the tip button and on this underneath this video and send me a few dollars <laughs> that is totally fine as well naira is fine all of them is fine i would greatly appreciate it and by the way guys if you guys want to patronize us there's multiple ways to patronize us if you want uh plantains let me know if you want plantain suckers let me know if you need a farm setup let me know if you want plantain chips let me know we don't have a labor yet so that one is not good there and finally we are getting ready to expand our plantain farm uh, I think uh, we're going to kick off next month or April. So we're still looking for investors who are interested in, um, in investing in our plantation farm. Not only are we looking for investors, I think we're getting to a point where we're finally open to discussing people that would like to be co-founders in our organization as well. So if you'd like to invest, either you want to buy land within our community and have us farm for you, 
um, that's totally fine or you just want to buy the land and save it for land banking totally fine or whether you want to buy farm land and farm it yourself all of these options are available to you so if you're interested call the number underneath this whatsapp and we would like to serve you and lastly guys remember it's your time to rise and let your light shine peace